There are two ways to install fonts on your Windows machine. But first, let's get a couple of fonts from the World Wide Web here. On a Google search engine, type download fonts. I normally get my free fonts from this website here. Click on it. And then let's say we want to install a barcode font. Search for barcode and click search. And you can download those fonts by clicking here. Right? I'm going to minimize this because I've already downloaded two fonts that I want to demonstrate today. One is called Barcode, the other one is called Charlotte Southern. So once you get here and download your fonts, unzip them anywhere. I'm going to unzip them locally here in my download folder. Okay, the first way to download or install the font after downloading would be to, open this guy here, would be to double click the TTF file itself. Once the uh, font window comes up, click on install. Once the installation is complete, close that uh, font window. And now you can start using the font against a Word document. Let's say I'm going to apply the barcode font on this number here. Pull down, barcode. Okay, this is in words. You can also use the same font on the Excel font for barcode. I'm just gonna for completeness I'm just gonna apply to the entire column okay that is how you install uh, a font that is method number one method number two would be to use the settings here so go to start then you go settings and you go personalization and you go fonts and in here is where you have to drag your font I already demonstrated on barcode I already installed barcode you can see here is here but I'm going to do Charlotte Southern. What you're going to have to do is to say, I'm going to select this guy here. Over here, you got to drag the TTF file in this area here and you just let it go. Once the installation is complete, you can see that the font is available in your Windows machine here. So now what you have to do is go back to your Windows machine again, or rather the Word, and then select the font that you want to change to the new font which was Charlotte Southern and there you go this is you can see that uh, I did not have to restart the word document but on Excel it's a bit different if you click on here and look for Charlotte you don't find Charlotte here at all this is the only time that uh, in uh, in Excel is the only one you're gonna have to restart it in order to get the font rejuvenated here so I'm gonna restart my Excel now if you go and select Charlotte it's gonna it's available right here and same thing I'm gonna apply to the whole column 